Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the first edition of President's Corner. My attempt at uh, improving our communication process by providing members with updates in regards to uh, some of the initiatives we're working on. Today, I want to talk to you and provide you with an update on our federal process. In light of the recent signing of the Media Nation of Alberta's Framework Agreement and uh, inquiries that we're receiving from membership in regards to where our process is at, I felt that it was time that I needed to provide you with an update. Since the Daniels decision, we've taken a number of steps to engage our membership to gain input on needs and priorities of our communities. We started with informational sessions on Daniels and uh, they started in September of 2016. We then held a strategic summit in November of 2016 to learn what our members' uh, needs and priorities were. We completed our community engagement sessions in May of 2017. The information that we've collected in these sessions will be used as a basis of our negotiations on our federal framework agreement. While the engagement sessions were taking place, we also began discussions with Canada to establish a process. In January of 2017, I met with the Minister Carolyn Bennett, the Minister of uh, INAC, and we reiterated with her that only Métis Settlements General Council speaks for the Métis Settlements and that we required our own bilateral process. The federal governments uh, at the time, the federal government at the time uh, was under the impression that they would be dealing with the MA on behalf of all Métis in Alberta. So we needed to let her know that nobody speaks on behalf of the Métis Settlements but the Métis Settlements General Council. At that meeting, Minister Bennett committed to our own separate bilateral process with the Métis Settlements. That process started in February of 2017 when the federal negotiating team came and met with our General Counsel Board. After a series of meetings throughout the summer, we finalized discussions on the MOU in July 2017. The MOU then proceeded to the federal review process. That process is a very lengthy process. It has to go through three separate committees, three separate reviews. November of 2017, just recently, I met with Minister Bennett here in Edmonton, and she informed me that the uh, review was in those last stages. They were hoping to complete it within the next couple of weeks. The intent is that we would sign off on the MOU at our December 15th General Council Assembly and, uh, and our Christmas banquet. If we don't happen to meet the timelines, then we will be signing off the MOU in January 2018, which is also uh, the good as uh, we will not only be starting a new year, but we will be starting a new era and we'll be starting a Canada 151. So with that, uh, members, I know that, uh, you know, people have thought that this MOU is taking a long time to complete. I myself are uh, not very happy with how long it's been taking. But when you look at the timelines, we started in February of uh, 2017 and we concluded the discussions in July of 2017. And now we are into, I'm happy to report, we're into the last couple of weeks and the MOU should be finalized. Once the MOU is finalized, we will then be going into our exploratory tables and beginning the process of negotiating our framework agreement. With that, I will uh, keep you informed of progress. And uh, again, this is only the, uh, the first step in our uh, improving our communication process. Thank you.